OK, um, so what I have here is a negative square root of 1 minus cosine of 16y equals 2, or divided by 2. And what we want to do is we just want to simplify this. So I look at this formula, and, I, and when I look at my half, you know, that half sheet that I have all the formulas, I got to want to look and say, you know, what does this formula you know, apply to? Well, it's not going to be some indifference of sine or cosine. Um, it kind of has, um, it's not going to be some indifference of tangent. Then I look at my double angles. Well, it's not going to represent anything but double angles. So I look at this. This is very similar to my half angle formulas, right? And I remember when I have cosine, that that's going to be dealing with the sine of my half angle. So I know that the sine of u over 2, correct me if I'm wrong, is plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of, or cosine of u divided by 2. Correct? So I know these are very similar to each other. So all I'm looking at, if I say, well, remember, remember when we did this, if I, you know, we said u over 2 was equal to whatever your angle was? So what I want to do is simplify this and say, you know, what would this, if this is u or y, why am I writing y in u? Here's your general formula. If this is u, then this is u divided by 2. So you can look at your, in your formula and you say, oh, this is y. 6. This is 16y divided by 2. So therefore, I can rewrite this and say, well, then that's going to be the sine of 16y over 2. Right? Which we can simplify even further and just say, this is the sine of 8y. So the simplified version of this is using our sine form. You could say, oh, it looks just like this. But then really what that is is sine of 8y. Eight, eight because if I was going to use the half angle formula for this, I would get that expression. So that's all you really had to do as far as the simplifying part. You just really determine what the formula was.